clouds usually form way up in the sky, right? Well, not today. I'm going to show you how to make your very own cloud in an unexpected place. This bottle. You'll need some rubbing alcohol, a pump, some adhesive putty and an empty plastic bottle. We'll need to start by making one key adjustment to this pump. Take some putty and wrap it around the needle at the top. Then pour about a tablespoon of rubbing alcohol into the bottle. Swirl it around for a few seconds so that it starts to evaporate. Time to bring the pump and the bottle together. Insert the pump into the neck of the bottle and press firmly to create a seal between the putty and the plastic. Of course, the bottle already has air in it, but we can actually add a little more. Pump air into the bottle until it feels stiff when you squeeze it. Then, watch what happens when you quickly pull the pump out of the bottle. That's right, a cloud forms right there in the bottle, filling it up completely. But why does it do that? Well, real clouds are made of tiny water droplets and this cloud is made of tiny rubbing alcohol droplets. They form because of the way the pressure changes during the experiment. As you pump air into the bottle, the pressure and the temperature increases. When you remove the pump, the temperature and pressure suddenly drop, causing the alcohol to condense into tiny droplets or a cloud inside the bottle. This looks pretty impressive as it is, but to really show it off, try gently squeezing the bottle. With a little practice, you should be able to blow cloud rings that float off and disappear into the air. But I wonder what happens if we put air back into the bottle? The cloud vanishes. That must be because I've now reversed the air pressure. Well, now that I've got cloud in a bottle, all I need is rain in a bottle. Oh, we already have that. <laughs> 